This is it, the final developer build of Android Q before we see the fully realized version drop sometime very soon. That means there isn't a great deal completely new. So even with that said, here is our very, very short list of top new features in Android Q Beta 6. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Let's start naturally with the biggest new change, which is actually available in Google Camera 6.3, which does mean there is no need to update to Android Q Beta 6 if you don't want to. With that said, Night Sight is now part and parcel of the main camera UI. There's no need now to dig into side menus, just swipe left and you're able to take long exposure night shots. I'm still pretty confused why this wasn't the case from day one, but it's there now and you can enjoy it from the get-go. If you do opt for the full gesture navigation method in Android Q, one of the biggest frustrations has been the back gesture. Unfortunately, it hasn't been fully resolved yet, but you're now able to adjust the back sensitivity to suit how sensitive your pixel is to your swipes. You do get four increments to choose from, from low to high. I personally have kept the stop level as I find this responds best to my swipes, but I think it's worthwhile playing around with it until you find your right comfort level. Staying with the gesture theme, the gesture bar now disappears when on your home screen. It doesn't disappear entirely from your device though, as it reappears when you enter an app or device settings for instance. Of course this isn't a huge change, but your home screen will look much cleaner as a result. Most definitely something you might not have picked up upon until pointed out, the emergency power icon has now been updated from the first aid cross sign to a slightly more recognisable star of life icon that is commonly seen on ambulances around the globe. Not much of a change, but a notable one at that. The final change that I myself didn't notice until mentioned by a colleague is that the fast rotation button has now been updated to be darker than previously, therefore matching the system dark theme. The toggle itself is just as useful as it has been previously, whether or not you would have noticed is another question entirely. So I want to be the first to say I'm sorry to disappoint you, as this is the last beta update, we knew that the changes were largely going to be cosmetic or simple tweaks ahead of the full release, which hopefully should be pretty soon. If you found anything new yourself, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also remember to subscribe to see our full hands-on with Android Q once it rolls out to Pixel phones very soon. As always, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, but until next time, I will speak to you later.